how to move the hand of God against the enemies of God and the sure mercies of God, he said this, even the sure mercy, that is kindness, goodwill, and compassion promised to David will be yours. Jump down to verse 6, and then I'm going to wind up here. Uh, Seek, inquire for, and require the Lord while he may be found, claiming him by necessity and by right. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return to the Lord, and he will have love pity and mercy on him and to our God for he will multiply to him his abundant pardon what I'm saying today is I'm not talking about mush mushy love words I'm talking about the word of the living God I'm talking about speaking the word in season and out of season I'm talking about you have covenant rights and you need to begin to speak words of life over your relationships over your household over your jobs over your businesses over your nation over this area over your church And it's not saying that there's still not correction have to come forth. Correction in a loving manner will have to come. But what I'm saying in this portion, we need to stop, start with ourselves for a transfiguration. To be transformed through the word of God in how we talk, how we think, what thoughts we let get turned in the words, which one we take captive. I mean, I believe that Brenda Gamble right now is being healed in her body in Jesus' name. They said this morning they thought she was having a stroke. Uh, I believe that the power of the Holy Spirit will invade her system and make her well. Uh, I believe Stephanie's dad will totally walk out of the hospital heal because of the presence of God in his body. You see, I believe that we're coming into another season with God that he is going to move supernaturally and creative miracles and, and letting people know he's alive like we've never seen, but he wants to do it through you. You need to begin to declare that you're a vessel carrying the anointing of God to make a difference in the earth. Because you are. There's no jealousy in the house. There's no meanness. There's no misunderstanding. The power of presence of God is on your life. It's in the house. It's in this place. It manifested today in our worship time. It may be time for us to get back to the drawing board. Maybe it's time to get back to the radical things of God. Come to the core beliefs of what it means. And begin to really focus on this book for a season for 40 days is all I'm asking. See what it does for you for the next part of your life. I believe this. No one connected to your family would go without benefit. I, I, I believe it with all my heart that you're loved, honored, and God is on your side. I believe that if you can just shake off the old mentality. If this was easy to do, a lot of people would do it. But it takes inspection, willingness to break the old wineskin. And flow with God in a new season like never before. It takes effort that when you want to have a rage and fit because somebody pulled out in front of you, that you just start praying for them. It takes effort. You, you know, when somebody wrongs you, instead of going to your nearest person or getting on the phone and blasting them, it'll take effort. 
for you to stop and think, wait and listen. What would God have you do? I'm just talking about natural things being governed by spiritual things. It's natural to want to pick up the phone and blast somebody. It's natural, you know, when somebody nearly kills you and your family, you want to get out and beat their brains out. It's natural, but we're going into a supernatural move of God and be led by spirits to release a warfare upon the enemy that is not natural. Amen? Amen. God's good, isn't he? I see the transfer of wealth to me coming every day so that I can bless you more. I still see the big baskets. One side, the tithes and offerings going in. The other side are in little envelopes. Anywhere from $5 to $5,000 for people having a need. You see, no church does that. We're going to do that. None, nobody's going to have any lack. When, they, when the Passover feast come, and God said, prepare the lamb. If it's too big for you, get your extended family. Now listen to this. If it's too big for the extended family, get all the neighbors. Let them eat. And the lamb represented the word of the living God. They stood and ate. They would not sit down because they were excited and expectant. Not only would the Passover angel come and pass over their house, but the next morning, they're leaving town. They're leaving town, guys. We're leaving town. We're leaving where you used to sit spiritually, where you thought life used to be, and we're coming to a new understanding from God, and we're going to eat the book. We're going to surrender our self-surrender to Him, and we're going to flow with God in this season. And you know what? This mountain region will be called the mountain of God because of your presence in it and the presence of God inside of you having His will done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, I praise You and I thank You. If there's any person in this room that does not know You through Your Son, Jesus, I want to give them an opportunity now. If there's any young person old that's never made the commitment, now is your time. Let me see your hand. I want to pray with you. Anybody here? Everybody know Jesus? Anybody want to accept Jesus? Everybody knows him? Praise God. Prayer be Tuesday night, 6 o'clock. Wednesday night I'll be right here going on down the road with about words. We're going to have a good time. Remember, if you didn't get uh, a, a journal there, you can. we got some left, have we? Uh, if Please read Ephesians 4, 29 through 32 for yourself. Let God speak to you. Let it be real. Let God change you as you surrender your thought life and your word life to God once and forever. Let it be done. Father God, I thank you that peace go before us, the traveling mercies of God, the angels of God to keep us in the way. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Wednesday night, 630. Wednesday night, can you? Wednesday, come on up because they're already going.